They can't cause the mutations that might cause cancer. It's certainly reasonable to be concerned about something you do every day. Is this a risk factor? Is the heat and radiation from a cell phone that I put right up next to my brain, is that a risk for anything? Cell phones emit non-ionizing radiation. By definition, they're not energetic enough to break chemical bonds. Therefore, they can't cause the mutations that might cause cancer. Uh, in fact, we're not sure what health risk it could even plausibly create. It does heat up the tissue a little bit, but you know, no more than wearing earmuffs or being you know, out in the sun. With cell phones, we have an advantage in that there's been a natural experiment. We went from, again, almost nobody using them to most people using them quite a bit. Now, the vast majority of these kinds of epidemiological studies that have been done, or ecological studies, have shown no correlation between cell phone use and any occurrence, incidence of any type of brain cancer. This is very reassuring. In fact, over the last 20 years, there hasn't been a net increase in brain cancer. In fact, it's been decreasing a little bit after its peak around the early 1980s, before cell phone use. We can never say that a risk is zero, but we can't say that it's so low, it's probably not worth worrying about. In cases like this, you need to listen to the bulk, the vast majority of the evidence, which says that there's no correlation, there's no increase in brain cancers, and the plausibility is low to begin with, so I'm not worried about it.